It was a warm January in Belapur, filled with excitement and anticipation, covered with emotions. Very, very emotional. As she walked the path of her pitris, or departed ancestors, entering the home from whence came her great-grandfather, it was here that officialdom surrendered to unbridled humanism for the Prime Minister and her sibling. Flowers, a powerful symbolism that has existed in Indian society for thousands of years. As the old and the young garlanded their long-lost but returning parivar or family members. It was a field day for the media, and sometimes a subtle threat to the special dignitaries and visitors, as both sides tried desperately to navigate the huge crowds in cramped surroundings. Then to the stage she went, at the behest of the mammoth crowds that had gathered in anticipation of a day that shall forever live in their memory. That the person I am and what I've been able to do could not have been possible without the teaching and the learning from the great religions and the traditions out of here in Bihar passed to me by my four parents. Somewhat relieved, the Prime Minister reaffirmed her conviction that though separated by distance, Belapur and its significance are deeply embedded in her heart. Today I hold the position of Prime Minister of my country, and that I could never have done without the blessings out of your soil here. And so, perhaps, Bhagwan has ordained that I be here today in my village of my forefathers to pay homage to the sacred souls of my pitris, my ancestors. Little children waving the national flag added immense color to the choreography that this historic visit created, as indeed it generates in the psyche of all those whose ancestors would have come to Trinidad and Tobago in the repeopling process. This is absolutely unbelievable. They came here in their thousands to witness a great-granddaughter of their soil whose grandfather left these lands in 1889. She found her roots uh, overcome by emotions as she went through the village, as she visited the ancestral home from which her great-grandfather left Bihar and boarded one of those ships on his way to a new life in Trinidad and Tobago that today she could return to this village a Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. From the village to the Kolkata Monument on which is inscribed a tribute to all those who braved the Kalapani not only in search of a better life but creating one for succeeding generations to produce prime ministers like Kamla Prasad Bisesa. This is Gideon Hanuman Singh in Kolkata, traveling with the prime minister. The honorable prime minister of the Republic of India, ministers of government of um, India and those from Trinidad and Tobago, distinguished ladies and gentlemen all, I take this opportunity first of all to thank Honorable Prime Minister, the government and the people of India for the warm hospitality that we have received during our visit here and for the honor that has been bestowed on Trinidad and Tobago uh, by the invitation to be here on a state visit and uh, to be the chief guest at the PBD over the coming days. Uh, I endorse the comments and sentiments expressed by the Honorable Prime Minister of India and uh, reiterate the commitment of Trinidad and Tobago to indicate to you that we are open for business, that we welcome those who want to do business with us and we want to thank the Government of India for the various exchanges we've had, the conversations we've had and for a very important uh, item, Excellency. Uh, the, the, the donation of lands in Delhi for the construction 
of uh, Chancery and a High Commission uh, for Trinidad and Tobago here in Delhi. We celebrate diplomatic relations with India 50 years this year. At the same time, we celebrate 50 years of independence of Trinidad and Tobago. And so we believe that the, uh, the donation of those lands uh, would be uh, very fitting in this year. And um, we all know that when we own land, we feel a sense of belonging. And so we thank you for giving us that sense of belonging with a piece of land donated. I believe it's five acres, very generous of the government. We thank you for that. We also want to thank the government and people of India for the uh, uh, establishment of the chair at the University of the West Indies and for the long-standing exchanges in culture and education and the extension of your scholarships to nationals of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, I do believe that our partnership together, India and Trinidad and Tobago, will redound to the benefit of the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago and the wider CARICOM region, as well as citizens here in India. Excellency, again, we thank you very much for the hospitality and the honor. And to the people of India, we say thank you for welcoming us in your midst. Uh, ministers, thank you. Ministers, thank you all very much. We look forward, sir, to the next few days as we travel tomorrow morning to Jaipur. Um, Excellency has indicated to me that I'll be visiting several cities and expressed the view that it would have been nice for me to visit the south of India. So Excellency, we reserve that for another visit on another occasion. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much.